you probably have a network at home and maybe you'll find that it works better at different times of the day. And that is because there's a few things that affect the performance of that network. And we're gonna cover uh, what they are and we're gonna do it really by an example. And we're gonna have that picture, that sort of idea uh, of you sat at home and you and your family using it and you're all uh, gathered around your Wi-Fi router maybe with your smart TVs, smartphones or whatever trying to watch things like Netflix and Amazon Prime uh, separately because you know we don't watch the same program together anymore do we? So let's have a think about this. What can affect the performance here? Well the first thing and one of the most important things is if you're dealing with a wired or a wireless connection and there's a separate video all about that. If you have a look at the video about Ethernet and about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth then you will we'll talk about this in a bit more detail but let's just cover the basics here your Wi-Fi router is actually it's clever it's a clever thing but it's actually a wireless access point a router and a switch all built into one and now have a look at the network hardware video to find out more about those sort of things um, but you can connect to it one of two ways you've got maybe the idea that maybe somebody's watching something on um, a tablet and so they're connecting wirelessly all right and then so that will send a signal a radio signal uh, between the tablet and the Wi-Fi router but then maybe you have a cable coming out of your router as well and that's going to a PC somewhere and that's plugged right into the back of the PC now which one will be better well it will be the wired connection wired connections are always much faster than wireless and there's a few different reasons than that, uh, for that one of the main things is that it's subject to less interference so you don't have things like walls in the way you don't have uh, wor worries about um, I don't know, in windows and reflective surfaces and stuff like that. microwaves getting in the way because yes microwaves can cause havoc with a with a Wi-Fi router you don't have all that to worry about you can also put more ones and zeros over this connection at any given second than you can through the air it's just a bigger sort of pipe for data to go through so that means they give you more bandwidth so a wired connection immediately has a um, you know has an advantage over a wireless connection so that's the first thing that can be uh, affect wireless performance. The second thing that's worth considering is how many people are using the network at once and what they are doing on it. So imagine now we are increasing uh, the number of users that you've got. You've got somebody, uh, I don't know, looking at uh, social media on the smartphone you've got maybe your parents tuning in to uh, something on their smart tv which is using a wireless signal as well and this wi-fi router now has to split itself like four or five different ways so the number of people that you have on the network is is really important simply because now the bandwidth that's available to the router so the number of ones and zeros it can go through in a second has to be shared now between all those different users and like i said what they are doing is really important as well uh, another way of saying that is what application they are using on the network take something like gaming for example games actually doesn't use a lot of data not compared to doing something like looking at a high definition video on netflix so what you are doing on the network um, is really important there's nothing really other than maybe downloading a massive file that eats up bandwidth in the network okay what else so we've got wired and wireless connections number of people the network what people are doing on the network the final one that's worth mentioning is just the distance that the data has to travel. Now this does make a difference, but it obviously it all sort of comes down to wired and wireless that are, again. So going back to our example, um, this person here, if they are actually physically further away the, to the Wi-Fi router compared to this person, then it's more likely that they're gonna have more interference, which is going to reduce the bandwidth. So there might be like another wall in the way, which will cause some issues. And that will slow down this person's connection to the network. So yes, definitely for wireless, the distance that you have uh, to your Wi-Fi router is a problem. But this is also a problem for wired connections. It is important to say that you do have interference on a wire, on like a copper wire in particular, uh, which you'll probably have in your house for your network cable. And the longer that that cable goes on for, the more interference that will creep into the, the, the signal being sent down the wire. But this is admittedly, admittedly much less of a problem. Unless you are really talking about a really long wire here, in which case your signal will degrade past the point where it can actually be received. So that is something to consider as well. But they're your main things. You've got uh, the fact that you've got a 
wired and wireless network is one of the major things that affects what network performance, the number of people and what they're doing on it, and also the distance you are to your wireless access point or to your switch and your hub. If you have all those things sorted, then you can have a happy network and browse as much high definition video as you would like. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.